All right, you guys are going to try to make this quick and painless. We're going to try to save some of you guys some money out there. Let's talk about the Mission First Tacticals, Minimalist, Inside the Waistband, and or Appendix Carry. Uh, just take note of everything what I'm about to state is only on this particular model, as I have no experience with any of the other models, the Smith & Wesson J-Frame. Um, so I actually have a different clip on there. It actually comes with this particular clip, which has, in my opinion, really zero adjustment. The only adjustment on here is left and right can't, but there is no actual height uh, adjustment. So what I found is immediately uh, after purchase, I got home, didn't have my revolver with me, so threw my revolver in there and went straight to uh, doing some dry fires and everything and found out instantly that I was just busting the living hell out of my knuckle. Uh, the clip it came with was actually higher and it was right in the actual uh, section of where your hands are gonna come into every time you try to go ahead and draw your firearm. So what was happening with that one is my middle knuckle, as I would come in, would just get busted on that sucker, that, uh, sucker there that was installed on it right out of the package. Uh, didn't want to give up, so I went ahead and went through my miscellaneous little parts and everything. And thankfully, I did find a spare clip I had laying around for whatever reasons, which actually has five different mounting holes, which allows me to change actual right height and everything. So I went ahead and dropped it down to be level with the actual trigger guards. So now I just have perfect, uh, nothing in my way to impede my actual excess, uh, access of grip in the actual revolver and everything. Fix that problem. So put that sucker on, got that sucker installed, start to kind of mess with the retention and try to find a happy medium and everything to where I could actually draw this sucker and everything like that. Um, that led me to my next problem. Uh, so right now I have this thing pretty solid to where none of the accessories actually move. And right now it's kind of a grip it and rip it just to get the sucker out. And I've actually had multiple times where, man, even though I would pull on that sucker hard, it would just still not come out. Nothing worse than needing to get to your firearm and not being able to get it. Uh, so I try to mess around and give it the benefit of the doubt and mess with the retention and everything and loosen it up. I did finally get it to where it was easier to actually just draw it and got it to where it was a lot smoother. But I've had this problem with other holsters that does this. Um, they put the mounting clip, the concealment accessory, and the retention all on the same actual bolts and everything. So what I was finding was either have these things tight enough to where the accessory mounting clips and concealment wing are actually solid and then struggle with the grip and rip or have it loose enough to where I can actually pull this out, but to where the actual accessories were just loose and wobbly and the actual uh, bolt wouldn't actually stay on. The sucker would just kind of rattle loose and everything after uh, dry firing for a while and everything like that. So just want to go ahead and put this out there, uh, at least for the Smith & Wesson J-Frame, I personally cannot actually recommend the Mission First Tactical uh, Minimalist Holster. All right, you guys, thanks, have a good day.